Hi, I'm Hartini. We are now at the Faculty of Civil and Environmental Engineering, University of Houston, Malaysia. Welcome to Hadori Course at Malaysia Massive Open Online Courses or MOOC. There are six topics in this course. Let us briefly take a look at each of these topics, which will be explained by my clicks. Chapter 1 Introduction to Open Channel Flows In this chapter, we are going to learn about the classifications of open channel flows based on how the flow characteristics changes in time and space. When I say flow characteristics, is the depth and also velocity of the flow. Um, and we are also going to learn about uh, how to determine state of flows based on fruit and Reynolds number. At the end of this chapter, we should be able to determine the flow area, wetted parameter, the hydraulic radius and hydraulic depth. Now, in chapter 2, we will learn about uniform flow in open channel. We are going to use Chazé and Manning resistant flow equation to calculate for velocity of flow. If the discharge is known, we will solve for the normal depth. We will also learn about to obtain the most effective open channel section. We will learn about the concept and application of specific energy and control section in Chapter 3 based on two flow situations, which are flow over broad crested wheels and flow through constrictions, we will apply the concept of specific energy to obtain the change in flow profile along the channel. In Chapter 4, we will focus on non-uniform flow in open channel. In this chapter, we will analyze rapidly and gradually varied flow. We are going to determine the profile of gradually varied flow and uh, characteristic of hydraulic jump. In Chapter 5, we will learn and discuss on hydraulic structure topics. Do you know what hydraulic structure are all about? Hydraulic structure is used for several purposes. For instance, to restrict, to control, to divert the flow, or in other words, to manage the flow. However, in this chapter, we will discuss on four types of hydraulic structure which are spillway, weir, switch gate and energy dissipator. Later on, we will discuss on the application, the theoretical background and finally, we will use the theoretical to design the hydraulic structure. In the final chapter of the course, we will discuss on hydraulic machine. We will only look at the function and characteristics of pumps and turbines and how they are used in hydraulic systems. Once you have completed the course, you should be able to analyze the concept of uniform and non-uniform flow in open channel, hydraulic structure and machine. Discuss technically the given open channel hydraulic problems and respond in group effectively in solving uniform and non-uniform flow problems. <laughs>